www.dj.co.uk. And what I want to talk about is this. We've all seen that meme on the internet. And we see it every year. Every year we see it from the same person or the same type of person. Okay? And it says something like this. 2015 was practice. 2016 was a warm-up. And 2017 is game time. Only this year, it says this. 2016 was practice. 2017 was a warm-up. 2018 is game time. Okay? Why is it that every single year, we have the same people posting the same fucking meme with the years changed? I'll tell you why. Because these are the same people that find an excuse every single time they get on their path and they hit some adversity. They are the same people that will find a reason every single time to not do what they promised themselves they were gonna do. They tell themselves little stories. They tell themselves stories like this. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get started on Monday. And then Monday comes and guess what? They don't get started. And then they tell themselves on Tuesday, well, I already screwed up this week, so I'm gonna start again on next Monday. And if it's not the next Monday, it's this. I'm gonna get started after the weekend, or I'm gonna get started after that wedding, or I'm gonna get started after that vacation I take, or next week, or next month, or after Valentine's Day, or after St. Patrick's Day, or after Easter. And it goes on and on and on. And they find a reason to not do the things they were supposed to do that they promised themselves they were going to do over and over and over again. And let me tell you something, guys. If you look for a reason, you will always find one. If you look for an excuse, you will always have one. There's a reason that people post the same shit over and over and over again about New Year's resolutions. Why every year is going to be their year. 2016 is going to be my year. Oh, you know what? 2016 didn't work out the way I wanted. 2017 is going to be my year. Oh, you know what? 2017 didn't work out the way I wanted. Well, 2018 is really going to be my year. And I mean it this time. I'm serious. No, you're not. You're not serious. Because if you were serious, you wouldn't be the kind of person that finds an excuse in every opportunity. You wouldn't be the kind of person who finds a reason to break the promises to yourself in every opportunity. People who succeed people who don't even make New Year's resolutions because they're always doing the shit they're supposed to do understand that things are not always going to be ideal. Things are not always going to be perfect. Things are not always going to be convenient. There's going to be things that you can do or find or say or listen to that will help you justify you not sticking to your plan. But successful people know this and they stick to the plan regardless. They understand that things are going to get tough. They understand that things are going to be hard. They understand that things are going to be inconvenient. They understand there's going to be weddings and holidays and vacations at every turn of our existence. They don't train themselves to use those as excuses. I know for a fact that a lot of you listening right now are the exact people I'm talking about. You're the same motherfuckers that post success quote after success quote after success meme after success video, but you don't do a fucking thing. You tell yourself you're gonna do all these things, but you don't do any of them. And let me tell you why you don't do any of them. You don't do any of them, it's not because you're lazy. It's because you don't believe that you can do them. And the reason you don't believe that you can do them is because for so many years, for such a long time, you have constantly broke promises that you've made to yourself. Would you trust someone who lied to you over and over and over again for years? Would you believe in them to get the job done? No, of course you fucking wouldn't. And that's why you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in yourself because you've lied to yourself for years and years and years. You've told yourself, this was the time. This was what I was going to do. I'm going to do it this time, and I'm serious. I'm serious this time. Seriously. 
You've told yourself that over and over and over again. And what happens when you don't follow through? What happens when you don't keep those promises? You lose trust in yourself. And when you lose trust in yourself, you lose belief in yourself. And when you lose belief in yourself, you feel powerless. You start thinking you don't have what it takes. You don't have the intestinal fortitude to stick to a diet or a fitness program or a business plan and be consistent because you've lied to yourself so many times that all that belief and all that trust that you should have in yourself, which is by the way, is the most important thing that you need to have is gone. And it has to be rebuilt. It has to be rebuilt by keeping promises to yourself. When you tell yourself you're going to lose five pounds or lose 50 pounds or lose 200 pounds, you need to fucking do it. Because every time you try and every time you don't succeed, you lose belief in yourself. You lose trust in yourself and you become less powerful each and every time. And this is why most people can never succeed because they tell themselves over and over and over again that they are gonna do all these things and then they don't do them for whatever reason. It's inconvenient, it's hard, it's not something they feel like doing. They don't have the discipline to do these things is the bottom line. And what happens? They don't do them. So then they lose belief and they become someone who is now instead of being in control of their life and being someone who has power over their decisions and power over their outcomes, they become someone who becomes the whipping boy of the world. The world has its way with you. The world dictates you. You're no longer actively living, you're passively living. You're turning your existence into something that is no longer something that you have any control over and is, is something that the world controls. And guys, that's dangerous. That's why most people are most people. That's why most people have extreme difficulty achieving any goal. Because they haven't developed the belief and the trust in themselves. I challenge you guys to become people who do instead of people who talk about doing. I challenge you to not be the person who posts success meme after success meme after success meme after success meme with no fucking improvement in your life. Quit. Everybody sees it. I see it. Your friends see it. Your mom sees it. And we all think you're full of shit. Success is about doing. It's not about talking. And no matter how much positive shit you try to put out, no matter how many success memes you think you're going to post, no matter how many times you post that 2018 is going to be your year, it's not going to be your fucking year. If you don't learn to be someone of action. And that's where you guys are missing the fucking boat. You all are curious about what the secret is. You're all curious about what certain people have that you don't have. Why certain people succeed when you don't succeed. Well, I'm gonna tell you why, and it's really simple. Successful people, while you're bitching and whining and crying about how things are hard and why things aren't fair and why things are harder for you than anybody else, guess what they're doing? They're doing the fucking work. 2018 isn't going to be your year if 2017 wasn't your year. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you're probably thinking, oh, well, I could change my habits today. No, you fucking can't. You can't snap your fucking fingers and become somebody else. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. You don't see the most successful people on earth out there on the internet saying, 2016 was a warm up, 2017 was practice, 2018 is going to be my fucking year. You know why? Because every year is their year. Every day is their day. Every opportunity is their opportunity. It's just a day. It's another fucking day. 
you guys do so much illogical shit that I do not understand. One of them being this. When you get to like August, you decide that you're not going to work hard again until fucking January. Oh, well, after New Year's, I'll, you know, I'll get my shit together. No, you won't. You're not going to get your shit together. You haven't developed the habits. You haven't developed the consistent habits of winning. You haven't developed the ability to understand that every single minute matters. Guys, I talk about this. I've given you the tools. I've taught you how to do this. If you need a refresher, go back and listen to episode 107. You have to understand this is about winning. And this is not about winning a year. This is about winning moment by moment. This is about winning every day. This is about winning a few days in a row, five, six, seven days in a row, and then winning the week. And then it's about winning a few weeks in a row and winning your month. And then it's about winning a few months in a row and you'll win the year. But until you grasp that concept, until you put that into action, until you understand what win the day means and understand what the power list is and understand how to execute on five critical tasks until they become habits of yours, until you understand how to create those new habits, every fucking year you will be posting that dumbass meme that losers post about 2018 being their fucking year. That's going to be you. That's going to be you the rest of your life until you make a commitment. 